I'm Dr. John Scharfenberg, Professor of Nutrition at Loma Linda University in California. I am a medical physician, but specializing in preventive medicine. Today, I wish to discuss foods that will reduce your risk of getting cancer. You should know that the top uh, consumers of fruits and vegetables, if you divide people who eat fruits and vegetables into four quarters, those who eat the most compared to those who eat the least have only half the risk of getting cancer. You should know there's particular foods that are good in reducing cancer risk. The cruciferous vegetables. What's a cruciferous vegetable? That's a vegetable where the leaf looks like a cross. Uh, they would be foods like cauliflower, cabbage, broccoli, kale, and such things. If you eat, for example, cabbage once a week, instead of only once a month, you have only one-third the risk of getting colon cancer. You see, these cruciferous vegetables have a chemical called indols. These indols uh, help you to produce more of the enzyme benzopyrinase, which inactivates benzopyrene, a carcinogenic substance we get usually every time we eat. Those who use the most fruits have less lung cancer, less stomach cancer, less prostate cancer. Now, how would that be? This applies even to smokers as well as non-smokers. We need at least two servings of fruit every day. We need about 400 grams of, of fruits and vegetables every day, half being fruits and half being vegetables. They did a study of those people over 65 years of age. I love this study because I'm over 65. And the people who use the most foods the, uh, that had the vitamin A and C in them, they are the ones that have the lowest risk of cancer and total death rate. For example, cantaloupe. We have a melon that's yellow on the outside and yellow on the inside. It has both vitamin A and vitamin C. Take sweet potato. It has both vitamin A and vitamin C. The people who eat the most of these kinds of foods have only half the risk of cancer and half the death uh, rate of other people. What about tomatoes? Tomatoes are good foods for reducing cancer risk. They show those people who use the most tomatoes had only uh, about a third the risk of prostate cancer compared to those who use the least. Uh, it's the lycopene in the tomato which makes it red in color. And it's the lycopene which we think decreases prostate cancer risk. We need lycopene. Now, if you cook the tomato, you get two and a half times more lycopene than if you eat the raw tomato. Or, of course, if you blend up the tomato in a blender, you also break the cell wall, which releases more of the lycopene for you to absorb. Beans reduce colon and prostate cancer risk greatly. If you eat meats once a week, you have two and a half times greater risk of intestinal cancer than does the person who's a vegetarian. But if you would eat beans six days a week, you have no greater risk of colon cancer than the vegetarian, even though you're eating meat once a week. So beans are great in reducing reducing colon cancer risk, and they also reduce prostate cancer re risk. Whole grains lower the cancer risk, but, whole, but the refined grains do not. So we need to get lots of whole grains in our diet. So the foods that are best are your fruits, grains, nuts, and vegetables. They reduce the cancer risk.